linguine pasta cooking and I'm going to serve a sauce with this and it's going to be lemon, crab and courgette. Some delicious, tasty seasonal ingredients. The seasonal ones being the crab. I've got some lovely white crab meat here and some courgette. Just come in season. It's lovely and tender and really nice and fresh. I've got some chilli, some lemon that I'm going to use as zest and juice, some red onion and also some capers. So while the pasta's cooking, I'm going to get a pan on, good glug of extra virgin olive oil, courgette, trim the top and the bottom. Because they're so seasonal and these ones are nice and young, they won't take long to cook at all. So I'm just going to cut them in half lengthways and then just slice them into little half moon shapes. Red onion, I'm just going to thinly slice. I find red onion is actually quite nice if you don't cook it all the way through, so it still retains a little bit of bite. Just thinly slice. And I've got some chilli. Now chilli's it's entirely up to you how much you use. I am going to take half a chilli and I'm also going to take the membrane out, which is the hottest part. So I don't want it to be really fiery because it's not going to be cooked for long. I just want to have a little bit of bite to it. They're ready. Let's see if that oil's nice and hot. Perfect. Into the pan. And I'm just going to very quickly saute these. So they'll just be probably a couple of minutes until they become slightly golden but still retain a little bit of bite. Now the crab meat, this is fresh white crab meat. If you can't get hold of fresh crab meat, you can use tinned or frozen. In fact, frozen would be better. Now the lemon, I'm just going to grate some zest. Just half of that lemon will be fine. So some grated lemon to the pan. And I'm also going to add the crab meat to here as well. Straight in, it's all lovely and flaky. And then the last thing to go into there, into the pan, some capers. Now these are really quite fat capers, so I'm going to roughly chop them just to break them down a little bit, otherwise you'll end up with a mouthful of caper and nothing else because they're very strong in flavour. And into the pan. The last thing is just a squeeze of lemon juice. Lovely fresh flavours. Season it with salt and a twist of pepper. And that is a really tasty sauce that's ready for the linguine. I think the linguine is probably ready to drain. So, let's drain the pasta. So linguine is a flatter version than spaghetti and it's known as little tongs in Italian. And it works really well with this sort of sauce that I'm using. Let's just tip that into the pan. Now the important thing here is tip your pasta into the sauce because that way the pasta is going to just make sure it collects all of that lovely flavour from the pan with the sauce in it rather than putting your sauce on top of the pasta on the plate. Now, at this stage I'm just going to add another little glug of olive oil and this pasta is ready to serve up. So let's turn off the heat and we've got a delicious tasty pasta sauce. Now you can be as fancy as you want to with this. Try and twist a little bit of your pasta around to get a neat pile in the middle of your plate and then make sure you get plenty of that crab meat and the courgette just to spoon over the top. Now whatever you do, don't serve Parmesan cheese with this because fish or shellfish and cheese to an Italian is a bit of a crime. So I say keep it simple, keep it as it is and I think you'll just be more than happy with a nice plate of this crab and courgette linguine.